She's come for a manicure, but first Sophia must have her temperature taken. Please approach the screen to take your temperature. The temperature is normal. Hand sanitised and mask donned, she's good to go. It feels so nice to be getting back to some sort of normality. I think local businesses are probably going to start to struggle, so anything to support them. The beauty industry contributes an estimated £28 billion a year to the UK economy, but social distancing inevitably means fewer clients. And after cracking open the Prosecco on Friday when they were told they could reopen today, it was soon back on ice. Treatments below the neck are banned. On the menu we can do massages, um, obviously we can't do facials, we can't do the lash and brows, we can do a bit of hair removal but nothing like chin, lips, eyebrows. What does that mean for you in business terms? Well it's pretty much 50% of our revenue so it's a huge, a huge blow for us um, not to be fully open. As businesses open up, there's frustration at some clear inconsistencies. The majority of people who are having a beard trim are male and predominantly people who are having eyebrow threading or lash extensions will be female. So my question is, as a woman, if I decide to call my upper lip a moustache and my chin hairs a beard, am I now allowed to go and have a beard trim? At the Lash Lounge, they're keeping the salon clean, but focusing on eyelashes and brows mean they can't reopen at all. Bianca's technicians are self-employed, but many don't qualify for government support schemes. We're all very independent girls and we're being told, no, you can't open, no, you can't work. I've never felt in all my years, and like, well, I don't know where my money's coming from and I can't support, I feel like I can't support my family. They are desperate to get back to work, to do it safely, but the reality is a big part of the beauty industry is lingering in lockdown. Tessa Chapman, Five News.